But let me just say something broader about the tech companies. I, I, I am very disturbed by this trend that we have seen in Silicon Valley of tech companies being very happy to run and do business in China, mm -hmm. uh, to submit to China's many censorship demands, but then when it comes to helping develop AI technology that will make sure that we're not dropping bombs on innocent civilians, but actually targeting bad guys with the US military, you know, Google and others say, oh, heaven's sakes, no, we, have, we just couldn't possibly. We have moral qualms. Well, I think this should be the good beginning of a good social debate. You have moral qualms about working with the United States Department of Defense, but you don't have moral qualms about partnering with a repressive Chinese regime that, as we speak, has, what, a million or more Uyghurs shut up in concentration camps that is trying to brutally suppress its people, that has, has developed the most sophisticated authoritarian dictatorship in the history of the world? I mean, really? So I think it's time that we have that conversation and that Silicon Valley realize that they have a part to play in strengthening our, our own domestic economy, working where they can. Look, if they don't want to work with the Department of Defense, that's fine. It's a free country, that's fine. But I would ask them to think about what their technology partnerships with China really amount to. And I think I referenced earlier my, my effort at new export controls on those core technologies, those 17 plus core technologies of the Made in China 2025 initiative. I think we need to get serious about that and realize we are in a technological arms race.